Candice, thank you so much for joining me today in Di's lovely salon. <laughs> it is an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you're you. welcome. Now, obviously you've come to Di's salon for a reason. So <laughs> tell me, why, why are we here today? I actually fancy a change. Oh. I know, I know. I've had, I've worn a shaved head for 17 years, I think. Showing my age a bit there. Yeah. And I've only, like, I've tried different hairstyles over the course of time, so maybe two. Mm -hmm. But I really want to grow it out and try a pixie cut. Pixie yeah. cut. Yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, we can do something like that for you today. I love a little pixie cut. Absolutely love it. I... One day, eventually, <laughs> eventually, if that I would not go in between. I would go yeah. either long, long, yeah, or, or I love, love little pixie cuts. So yeah. we can definitely <laughs> sort something out for you today. This is a beautiful picture of yourself, yeah. and you have your signature shaved hair here. Mm -hmm. Describe to me this signature look and how this all came about. So I was seventeen. I was on holiday in New York mm -hmm. and I saw a woman cross the road in Queens with a shaved head and it just felt like time slowed down. There was an energy she seemed to emulate and I was like, I really want some of that. And in my mind, it was tied to her haircut yeah. because I hadn't seen, I'd seen, no, that's a lie. I'd seen a lot of women with shaved heads, but in the black community, that's normally a decision that's made after menopause a lot later in life mm -hmm. she looked about 25 and i hadn't seen such a bold and powerful hairstyle choice yes. on such a young woman so then a week later i came home really jet lagged and literally went to like all the barber shops in my area and so many of them turned me away really? because they were like no like you're having a moment you're going to regret it we don't want your mum coming down and shouting at us. And I think it was like the seventh barbershop I tried, a guy was willing to do it for me. And even he was like, let's start at the side. So if you don't like it, we can turn it into a style. I was like, no, we are absolutely starting in the middle. Yeah. So we started in the middle and I've never looked back, to be fair. That is amazing. So 17 years yeah. of age is when you just went, yeah, this is... I love the, the way you describe that the time just sort of stopped because you yes. saw her and that was just such a, that's such a powerful moment, isn't it? Yeah, really. But also that about seven barbers actually yes. said no when this is your own decision to, to do this. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Really angry. And as I've got a bit, a bit older, I've had to pick apart like the respectability politics behind it, the patriarchy, the sexism, mm -hmm. the idea, especially in the black community, that like a woman's hair is her beauty, it's her crown. And also back then, because that was 17 years ago, what wearing a hairstyle like this on a woman may have represented to other people, yeah. be that about your sexuality or your attitude. Like when I went back to college that Monday, just the shock and horror on my classmates' faces because they were like, what have you done? Why would you do this? Like, this isn't cool. And the entire conversation, both from male and females, um, was centered in how will you get a boyfriend wow. with short hair? Like that was, that was all anyone was ever concerned with. And yeah. I was like, gosh, how boring. Yeah, and so obviously you were getting these comments, but when mm. you actually did this to your hair, how did you feel inside? Despite what anyone else thought about it, yeah. how did you initially feel when you saw your hair coming off yeah. and then you were sat there and this was your new signature look which is now you like this is <laughs> this is you now so but that feeling for yourself i felt really excited and exhilarated and also, of course really naked mm -hmm. I, you just have your face you've got nothing to hide behind yeah so i felt really bare and quite vulnerable and my head was very cold it took a few years actually to get used to not wearing because i never wear hats in winter or anything yeah but i felt very yeah bare mm -hmm. and vulnerable but also a deep knowing that oh my gosh this is it like after years of having very bad hair experiences i was like oh we've arrived you've got it you know yeah this yeah. is this is now your new yeah. identity which i absolutely love Okay, Candice, the pixie wig is now going on. <laughs> I have chosen 
a um, lovely little finger wave and oh. I've chosen like a chocolatey brown yeah which I think this color looks incredible mm -hmm. so let's try it on let's see how it goes wow look it feels so warm this is so cute <laughs> I want you to have a look in the mirror and it's literally like a change in seconds <gasps> have picked this color but it's really it's soft. nice isn't it yeah, yeah. really soft um it's yeah I, I think on you you don't want too dark yeah because like, you can then see the texture still in this yeah little finger wave is it taking you back to literally when you were 25 literally. And, you were, and now i don't have to worry about it sweating out yeah this is and so you're cute. and i mean it's there's no chemicals used on exactly. this exactly just place it on and you've got a little different style this is great this is I great love this BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.